it in the backyard I put new strings in my old guitar The E was flat, they had stayed sharp I had no idea at all how happy it would make small And how drunk you and I'd get before dark Football and a mock. Orange. Oh, orange. What are you saying? My weirdo child. Hi guys. So Cooper and I are gonna have some one-on-one -on -one bonding time. We are going to go to Target because tomorrow I really want to make Christmas cookies with him, and we need to go and get some supplies for that. Uh, because we are keto really we don't really have like flour and sugar in the house so I might just get like the, the little mix and I know that at Target they having like kind of an extreme couponing deal where instead of it being like two dollars it's 40 cents so we're gonna go and snag that there's another extreme couponing deal that I kind of want to try to snag it's like 30 chocolates for a dollar when it's supposed to be one for a dollar so we'll see if they grab if they like allow me to do that too also, I forgot to put eye makeup on. Whoops, so my eyes look a little weird. But I am leaving Willa with Dan, not with Cooper. I'm leaving Willa with Dan, and Cooper and I are getting some bonding time because we haven't been spending a lot of time together. Cooper is definitely the less behaved child, but I don't want that to be the reason why I stopped bringing him places um, because that just will make it worse when we do actually go out. So I want to continue to bring him and make it a teaching there's his shoes make it a teaching lesson every single time we go out places so that's what we do why won't this connect songs to sing in the car okay sounds good <laughs> is all this stuff <gasps> look at these little teddies and look at this hat it's adorable and they have mommy and me head wraps I feel like I need these in my life me and Willa I'm not really a palm person though <gasps> mommy and me sets stop it Cooper 15 bucks that's really expensive I guess for two hats, it's not that bad. Isn't that cute? Mommy's definitely not a palm person, so we'll put those back. I love you, brunch. No brush. No boot. These are so cute, Coop. You can't. Do you want one? Oh, yes. Do we look at the toys? Look at these little sets. They're so cute, Coop. They're cute. Yeah. They're so cute. This blanket is amazing. How much is this? <laughs> nice, naughty. I tried. Lollipop. Is that a lolly? You don't eat it. You gotta put it on the window. We're putting stuff on the window, Dad. Oh. Is that Jelly Santa? You gotta love Starbucks dollar fines. Oh, of course Willa now gets upset. I'm gonna go get her. Yeah. Yeah. Can you do present? Oh, you know what? Actually, we're putting the little ramekins that are up there. Gingerbread house. Oh. So you need another one. Ah. You don't eat it. Hold on. How do we do this? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Gingerbread, it's just good. Such a little fatty. Should we just let him have one? I guess so. Okay, so we're gonna make gingerbreads. So. Ah. 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 Should have kept them all together. 
a uh, long thin one. Now we get this one, I guess. Mm -hmm. I need one that's like that, but this. A little shorter. And then two little nubs. La, 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 la. One. Just one nub. He's just eating all of our bases. What are you doing? Mm. That's good? Ah, uh, I see. You just do dot to dot. Hold for how long? 14 minutes. We have to hold this on for 14 no, minutes. <laughs> Sounds excessive. No, bite it. You bite it. I know I can hear you. Mmm. 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 Christmas The fire crackling gently all the while Snow is falling down Guess everything's just right But I'll be wishing you were here with me I feel like this is gonna fall over I don't think this is really that sturdy the sprinkles aren't actually going on like anything. Oh, knead and massage white no, icing pouch for no, two minutes no, 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 in order to make icing more fluid and adhesive. Do not mix up house pieces. Babe. That's the side. What did one. you do? You made a window. <laughs> you made a window. <laughs> Dad made a, it's like a horse stall. Ginger barn. Which you go? No, all feet. Whoa, you want to do this one? Here. You ready? Ready? Do. Whoa. See? Put the sprinkles on. Put a sprinkle. Put, put it in. Why does that look so good? Master ginger house man, Fred. Ginger beard house. Oh, is it good already? I'm losing my roof. My roof's on fire. Okay. Yeah, we need to not. You need to eat food. <laughs> oh my goodness. I heard <laughs> the, the sugar. sugar <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is great. This is exactly what I had in mind. Just remember, I'm going to sleep in a little bit. You're gonna deal with this. Dude, I need coffee. Here you go. They're playing in a fort. <laughs> While I tidy up. What are you doing? What are you doing, little darling? What do you got? The off chance that your babies don't like pacifiers like mine for some reason. <laughs> I just took the wubba nub and I just cut the like actual nipple part off and made it into a teething ring. So now you can teeth on it. I mean you could always just keep that nipple part but at this point she's so used to not having a pacifier that I would hate to introduce it as a crutch now. <laughs> For no reason, so I haven't. We haven't been giving this to her for that reason. So the fact that we can actually give this to her now and not have to worry about her like using the pacifier part is awesome. Yeah. Do you like it? That that way, it's not a waste of money. You got the wrong part. What are you doing? That's the wrong part. Are you sleepy? Look. Here, watch. That way. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> okay, so Cooper and I are gonna show you some of the baby led weaning things that we got for Willa. Um, 
that we're going to be wrapping as Christmas presents for her because if you have a baby that's about to be six months around Christmas, these are like perfect gifts. You might as well get them stuff that you actually need to buy. So the first things that I got um, are these bibs. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm not even gonna try. Baby, baby Bjorn. Bjorn, <laughs> Dan says. Um, but I got these on Amazon and it is a silicone bib that are apparently really, really easy to use. I think uh, these are the ones that were recommended to me by Carissa. Um, she's my friend, she has a YouTube channel as well. I'm sure you guys watch her also. But yeah, when I tried to put Cooper in a silicone bib, he was already too old and he hated it. So around his neck, it really bothered him and like it would grab his little hairs. You doing shakes? <laughs> Shake, 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 you put a toy in there. You put a toy in her snack holder. So the reason why I went with these ones is because it doesn't have a silicone band that goes near the neck. It has these little beaded bands as, instead and I feel like Willow will like these a lot better. Plus this was $10 for two of them. They were on sale when I got them. I don't know if that's the exact same price but I'm gonna link it in the description below for you. I got this for her at Target. It's a nice little silicone teether. These are the sippy cups that we got. I loved these for Cooper. They were great. If you guys hear snoring to my right, it's because Mush is right next to me and she sounds like an old man. Um, but they're the Avent, Philips Avent sippy cups, I think. I don't know. Uh, but I love them and they were great and they were really easy to clean and my favorite part about them is when you get a kid who eventually has teeth and they have sippy cups no matter what they do they end up biting on this part and instead of needing to replace the entire cup for $3.99 you can get uh, these pieces this and the center part and the straw in them and you can just get replacements for those so it's a lot more affordable. I got this snack cup from Skip Hop for Willa as well and I really liked the fact that it has not only a lid but it also has this thing as well. A lot of the snack cups come with this kind of contraption but I also like the fact that there is a lid on top of it because eventually they get worn down from little fingers constantly going in and out for snacks and they start to let like some of the snacks out so I like the fact there's a Lego in here as a Cooper. I like the fact that there's um, a lid on it as well. I can't get this out. <laughs> Obviously, we had to get Willa her very own Easy Peasy mat. You guys know that we love Easy Peasy in this family. And I ended up getting her a tiny bowl. This is what it looks like. Can I help you with something over there? Oh yeah? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you saying? What? What? <laughs> what a ham. What are you saying? Hi, bud. Do you got a snack? This right here is the Tiny Bowl. This is a new addition to the Easy Peasy line. And we also got the Mini Mat, which you guys know we love the Mini Mat. We don't have any of the other bigger versions. I think these do just as good a job of suctioning down. Here is the one that we use. Now the trick to these is one, you need to introduce them to your babies before they are smart enough to know to grab their little fingers underneath and pull them up because at the end of the day, if your toddler is able to really like get hit their little fingers underneath stuff, they're gonna pull them up. Doesn't matter how good it suctions, but if you introduce them when they're babies, they don't know any different. They just know that there's something sitting in front of them, kind of. I also noticed that if you really push it on and do this to it, right? Really wedge it in, that's when it's really hard to pull. Like I'm really pulling right now and it's not even, it's moving like a tiny bit. So that's really what you wanna do with these for people who have trouble with them. It's all about when you introduce them 
and also uh, how you get them like really suctioned on before you put the baby in front of the food. Now, Easy Peasy has two new products, guys, that just came out, and it's called the Tiny Spoon and the Tiny Cup. How cool are these? So Easy Peasy is actually coming out with their own training spoons and training cups. What I like about these is that they're the exact same material as their Easy Peasy mats. The best part about this cup is that it's definitely for training purposes, except you don't have to worry about them making too much of a mess, which is really nice. It doesn't hold a ton of water, as you can see. And what I love about the spoons is that they are small enough for baby's mouth, and you know they're not gonna stab themselves or anything with any metal or hard plastic parts. These are two products that are coming out really soon by Easy Peasy, and I'll let you guys know when they're available for purchase. There are some sweet and swag shoes that my mom actually got her. I'm gonna wrap those up and put them under the Christmas tree and my mom also got her some baby bling bows. So those are gonna go under the Christmas tree as well. Can I help you? yesterday whoopsie so sorry um but yeah you didn't really miss much my eye makeup's all over the place do you want to end the vlog you want to say bye to everyone oh um, well, that's weird you know how to do it oh cooper said bye bye oh he said bye bye okay. you want to say say bye bye yeah. he was gone he's gone